Greetings everyone. Welcome to my channel TechMod Nexus. You can achieve this beautiful effect by making a few simple tweaks. Let me show you how. Let's begin. Download this folder from the link provided in the description of this video. Then open your browser and search for Winehog download. Click on the download button. A page like this will appear. Click on the download button again and the file will begin downloading to your PC. Now we have the Windhawk and the files folder. Click on the Windhawk and install it. It may take 2 to 3 minutes to install. Let it install itself. When it's done, run the program. Let it load for a bit. Then click on browse for mods. Here you will see the Windows 11 start menu styler. Click on details and install it. When it's done, return to the previous page and here you will see taskbar height and icon size. Install it as well. In the last step, you will see Windows 11 taskbar styler. Install this mod too. When the installation is complete, return to the home tab and here you can see that we have successfully installed three mods. Now it's time to modify them. Open the file folder and here you can see four text files. Open step 1, press Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy all the text. Then go to the Windows 11 start menu styler and in the advanced tab visit the mod section. Delete the predefined values and paste the copied text here. Click on save and load. Now return to the file folder and open step 2. Copy the text. Then go to the taskbar height and icon size. Replace the values as we did in the previous step. The third step is a bit lengthy. It has two files. Open the first one, copy the text, then go to the taskbar styler. Visit the advanced section and replace the value with the copied text. Load it. Then open the last file, copy the text and again replace it with the copied text. If an error like this appears, just click on close toolkit. To change the size of your icons, go to the taskbar height and icon size. In the advanced section, increase the icon size according to your preference. The last thing to do is hide the desktop icons and that's it thank you for watching